Okay, today I'm going to show you how to basically change your Hot 4K Box 2 Media Player, which is also known as the Hot TV Box M8N Android Player. It has, I'm sorry, my cord came undone. It's got a quad core A9 processor. Alright. Oh man, my cord came undone. <laughs> now it's good to go. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to activate it and turn it into a developer mode. So, let's see, as soon as it loads this, okay, so, right here we're going to go to settings, then we already linked up to, with an ethernet, so we're good to go there, on the advanced settings, we're good to go there, so we'd go over to the other, then you would go down to the more settings, so this is your build number, your model number, your Android version, and the kernel version. I'll explain further in detail as to what these mean on another video if you guys would like. So you're going to click right there on more settings. Now, now it's going to be similar to your phone, your mobile device. So, And that's why it looks so familiar. It's going to be built the exact same way, so if you take that tip, you may not have to watch my next developer video that may be just for smartphones, who knows. But anyway, so the developer options are actually on this right now, and I just realized that, but I'm still going to show you exactly what to do. You're going to go down here to About Media Box. You're going to select it. You're going to scroll all the way down to where you say your build number, okay? And you could check this. At so you're going to click it about two, three, four. Oh, so you're going to click it about seven, eight, nine times, maybe six times. Even it's, it'll, it'll start counting at four, and it'll say four more clicks and you'll become a developer three more clicks and you'll become a developer and uh, two more clicks and you're a developer one more click you're a developer and then congratulations you're a developer boom 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 so it's going to say no need because you're already a developer for me though of course so you can go back now and there boom that would appear for you guys as soon as you did that all right that's also going to work on your LG smartphones is going to work on just about 75% of your <laughs> smartphones to be honest probably I'll have to look up the stats and um, get back to you guys if, on that but you can just message me your um, make uh, your model number of your phone and I will let you know if it's accessible or not or just try this these you know simple steps and then you can let me know how it worked out for you on a comment below so developer options you can see it's got so many different options enable Bluetooth <laughs> process stats so USB debugging what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn that on boom it says USB debugging Okay, personal preference, it's my prerogative, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, you can scroll down, you can check, you can you can just go into detail with so much. Um, you can show visual feedback for touches, which this is pretty cool. Um, 
I mean, there, there are a lot of different things that are cool. So pointer location, I mean, so you can see that it's going to show exactly. I mean, that's... So, I mean, if I turn this on, I guess right here, I'll show you real quick how to use this. So you see, pretty nifty. How many um, Android boxes can you do that on? Not a lot, unless they are developer unlocked. So then you can click that and go back. Okay, so I'm having too much fun here. So you can actually... Um, go here so you could do force GPU rendering, show GPU view updates. So you can basically change and upgrade. You know, you can alter your hardware, which is your your processing, and this, that, and the other. Let me know if you'd like further details as to what you know a lot of this means. I'm just kind of briefly touching on it for you. A lot of people used to um destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it but I'm um, I'm going to leave that off this time but and you can put I mean flash screen when apps do long operations on main thread boom I mean you can do so much so okay so now that that's good I'm gonna go back. Okay, good to go. All right, so that's that's that, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Took a little longer than expected, but I never really mind when that happens unless I have other things scheduled. So I hope you have a great evening and.